Good morning. This is Akash Fani Kohima. The morning news read by Sitang Mu. The central government has approved a unique package of innovative schemes for farmers with a total outlay of over 3.7 lakh crore rupees. The bouquet of schemes cleared by the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs is focused at the overall well-being and economic betterment of farmers by promoting sustainable agriculture. The initiatives will boost farmers' income, strengthen natural and organic farming, rejuvenate soil productivity and ensure food security. Under it, the government approved the continuation of the urea subsidy scheme to ensure constant availability of urea to the farmers at the same price of 242 rupees per 45 kg bag. The center also approved the PM program for restoration, awareness generation, nourishment and amelioration of Mother Earth to incentivize states and union territories to promote alternate fertilizers and balanced use of chemical fertilizers. President Draupadi Murmu and Vice President Jagdeep Dhangar greeted all fellow citizens living in India and abroad on the occasion of Idul Adha. In her message, the president said, Idul Adha is the holy festival of love and sacrifice. She said that this festival inspires us to follow the path of sacrifice and selfless service to humanity. Vice President Jagdeep Dhangar greeted the nation on the occasion of both Idul Adha. In his message, the Vice President said that Idul Adha is a symbol of sacrifice, selflessness and an occasion to express our gratitude. Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patton has greeted the Muslim community on the occasion of Idul Adha. Patton said that Eid is an important festival because it signifies sacrifice and obedience to God. On behalf of the state BJP legislators, the Deputy Chief conveyed heartiest Eid Eat greetings and hope that it is celebrated with joy and happiness. Nagaland Pradesh Congress Committee and PCC has strongly urged the 22nd Law Commission of India to thoroughly clarify and check the intentions of the Uniform Civil Code UCC if it is to hinder diversity of the country. In a press statement, NPCC President S. Supongmar and Jamir said, Our constitution is built on the concept of unity in diversity, and the failure to protect our diversities will directly mean the downfall of the Indian constitution. Stating that Naga's unique customary laws are the very core of its identity, NPCC President said, If any alterations or encroachment is made upon its religious, societal, cultural practices, it would directly mean going against the very agreements that, the, that made Naga's a part of the majestic country. Subomarin said, the foundation of trust that was built on the promise of protecting the unique traditional customary laws and cultural autonomy of, autonomy of Nagaland is clearly being challenged by the central government through the talks on introducing the Uniform Civil Code. Advisor Labour Empo Employment and Skill Development, Excise and Chairman Dimapur District Planning and Development Board DPTP, Mautu Shilongkumar, has urged the members and the district officers to engage to educate its citizens the importance of cleanliness, especially the message of not throwing garbages in the drainage, so that each citizen realizes of their responsibilities. Addressing the monthly meeting of DPTB of Timapu District, the advisor viewed that the recent flooding in the district as man-made disaster caused by blocked drainages. He also asked the district administration and municipal council to depute a team for collecting photographic evidences of people throwing garbages into the drainage. The advisor also directed the officers to undertake verification for listing the drainage encroachers and to serve notice to the defaulters for further legal action. Chandrayaan 3 will be launched on the 13th of next month around 2.30 p.m. according to official sources. Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, will launch its ambitious Chandrayaan 3 mission aimed at demonstrating critical technology to land the spacecraft on the moon. Chandrayaan 3 is a follow-on mission to Chandrayaan 2 to demonstrate end-to-end -end capability in safe landing and roving on the lunar surface. Ministry of Home Affairs yesterday announced that the online nominations for Batma Awards 2024 will be open till 15th September this year. The nominations will be released on the occasion of Republic Day next year. Details regarding the nominations for Batma Awards are available on the Ministry of Home Affairs website under the category of Awards and Medals. With that, we come to the end of morning news. Have a nice day.